yeah, that basically sums up this video, doesn't it? You may think you're a good gamer, you may think you can apply for an ESL top gaming sports thingy majingy, but in the end, the games will always, always own you. We said it before and we'll say it again, games lay down the law. And in the end, the bosses, they're the big test for us to see if we learn something, to show off our skills, to show everybody what we did and accomplished. So here are five bosses that lay down the law for us. When it comes to Final Fantasy, nothing a little grind can fix. It's the lesson we all learned and applied to any Final Zone in any of these games. But what when you're on the road? Often the game just unexpectedly throws a boss in your face. Really? It's these encounters that might make you feel like the game has its own system of keeping you with both feet on the ground. But that, my dear friend, is where you are wrong. Because as generic as a Final Fantasy game can be, so are their secret bosses. And it's these bad boys that really show you how it's done. Would you kindly? Would you kindly? Would you kindly? Even though you had all the gear needed, you went down. The trick with these bosses was tactics and patience. The speed and damage of these bosses was sheer immense that you started panicking. And panic creates chaos. And in chaos, you make mistakes. And thus, you get game over skins. From one RPG to another, surprisingly both from Square. This time, a time traveling amazement that will make Doc and Marty go nuts. Okay, baby, 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 let's go. We gotta, we gotta go why, right why, now. What's going on? Why? Shut up. Let's just go. No, why? Why? What's going on? Get your shit. Put it in the bag and let's go. I bought a new game. Why can't you say that? Let me get my controller. Where we are going, we don't need any controller. Chrono Trigger is a story that makes you go all over the timeline, from 600 before Christ to 12,000 before Christ to... Well, well, that's where we found the bane of many, many gamers. Laos. The grand, evil, alien parasite that is responsible for, spoiler alert, all of our modern advancements of the human kind. At a given moment, I just stopped trying. Just don't, don't care, don't even try anymore. Like EA developing a game, not giving a shit. It must be said in the first fight of levels, you can lose or win. Losing does not result in the game over at all. But, you know, winning is better, right? So the boss fight is really fast and vigorous. It almost feels like one of the secret bosses of Final Fantasy. And by God, it was a horrid boss. I never beat it at this stage. To beat it, you needed to go into a new game plus, and then even, it was a hard boss. When it comes to fighting games, they all are hard. They're always good fun as well, just getting a little beating and raging out on something that is as simple as a punch, a jab, or a kick. Just picture yourself, you are back at the playground in the kindergarten, and the bully, he picks out you for a fight. And in that fight, you feel it coming up, you're going all in, he's going all in, you feel like Jackie Chan in some kind of kung fu movie, or the Matrix, or Twilight, if you like that kind of thing, I don't know, but in the end, you actually just look like some button mashing fool that's slapping above everybody around in like Tekken or Mortal Kombat. Not majestic at all. But let's get serious. In the days before long hair and old age, there was Mortal Kombat on the Game Boy or Super Nintendo. And to this day, I hate the fight against Goro. You learn all the combos and sweet ass skills and moves, and you want to show them off on the two final bosses. But you can't. Because the trick to these bosses in the fighting games is tactics. Not showing off, but using its weak spots. In my case, Scorpion, throwing the javelin. Metal Gear. Now there is a game with an enormous legacy. The story writing, the character development, the complexity that Hideo put upon his games is sheer genius or crazy, enormous drug addictive writing skills, who knows. The bosses, each of them, also come over as a massive hard ass that you need to beat. The game even broke the fort wall. Remember you had to call Meryl? Well, you just took the case, turned it around, and you needed to look for the code right there. Classic Deadpool move if you ask me. Or Hideo. Not Konami. The story is not as punishing as it seems with the right tactics and moves. You can easily take down Tank Boy Raven. Yeah, you just pop a few grenades on him. Or, what about good old Psycho Mantis? Yeah man, just replug the controller. Liquid? Yeah, he might revive over. And over. And over. And over again. Brother! But he's not that hard of a boss. 
But when it comes to Snake Eater, I really had a hard time taking down the Sorrow. And I know I'm not alone. The boss itself is long dead and when encountering him you are wading through water encountering all the soldiers and bosses you killed during the game. It's a real kick in the gonads and a blow to the mind if you ask me. But again, genius tactics, you just had to die in the water. That simple. To beat him, just drop. Dark Souls, what a game, it really is the equivalent of Australia, everything is trying to kill you, the bosses, the other players, the jumps, this game is nothing but trouble and rage, even so knowing that people finish it without any damage or deaths or bongo drums or whatever, it makes you really feel like a scrub, but the one I really had a problem with is Sif, yeah Sif, two reasons, first, it's a huge cute dog, and I'm a dog person, okay? Second, she is defending her master's grave. Yes, I just assumed her gender, seeing as Siv, is a Scandinavian or Nordic name given to a female person, not an Apache helicopter, space whale, or whatever one of those million gajillions genders are. It's a female. And really, it is a hard boss to me. I just could not get it done. I had so much problems with her. Well, all I should have done was just get on her, dodge, and attack. Well, if you're in the melee, that is. And there you have it, 5 bosses that laid down the law for us. Leave a comment down below to let us know which bosses gave you a hard time. Leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe for more videos like these or Reckless's videos. And soon something new. Other than that, I hope you liked the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.